Are you tired of the pain? Now that's a serious question because believe it or not, some people are addicted to the pain. Now, Bob, you might say, what do you mean by addicted to the pain? Because when you are in pain, it generates sympathy from other people. And they want to know, what's going on? What happened? Are you okay? And if you're not careful, you can become addicted to people that pay attention to you because you are in pain. But the question is, are you tired of the pain? What kind of pain am I talking about? I'm talking about emotional pain or trauma that often comes from rejection of someone that you have affection for, someone that you have poured your heart out to, and someone that has probably pretended on some level to appreciate you. But you found out that they really weren't appreciating you, that they were using you. Have you ever been used by someone before? Do you know what it feels like to be manipulated? taken advantage of? Have you ever put your dreams on hold for someone else? Have you ever went out of your way to make sure that someone else was successful and when they reached the pinnacle, they reached the stage, they forgot your name? You can't tell me that that doesn't hurt. But because some of us spend so much time in church and we just let it go and we say, oh, well, God will fix it. No, you fix it. God's given you the power to fix it because he's given you the power to change. Maybe, just maybe, you're putting up with all of this pain because you don't think you're worthy. You don't think you deserve more what you do. How much pain, how much more rejection will you endure before you say enough is enough? Maybe you don't know how to because you're so used to caring about the needs of other people that you have forgotten to take the time to care for yourself. I know that many of you are fed up, but you don't know what the next step is. You don't know what to do next. I know you walk around with a smile on your face, but I'm telling you that smile is gonna wear thin in 2023 if you continue to be emotionally unfulfilled. Now, as a coach, I help people work through their emotional trauma. I want you to get exactly what you need. Sometimes what you need most is to be listened to. And if that's you, leave a comment or call Leave a comment if you want to have a conversation about your emotional trauma and challenges. I want you to make sure you go out there and you have a fantastic day on purpose. Thank you so much for watching.